Hi, I'm Abir Mukherjee, the author of the Windman Banerjee series of novels set in Rajira, India, uh, including the latest, this one, which is Smoke and Ashes and is Waterstone's Thriller of the Month. Set against the turmoil of Gandhi's non-violent freedom struggle, Smoke and Ashes sees Captain Sam stumble upon the body of a dead man in an opium den in Calcutta's Chinatown. Um, he can't report the killing because people will wonder what he's been doing in the opium den in the first place. Um, but then several days later he's called to the scene of another gruesome murder where the body bears remarkable similarities to the one that he found earlier. Sam realises that he has a serial killer on the loose. On the trail of the killer, Windham and Banerjee discover that there is a darker secret being hidden by the authorities. Um, and they need to track down the killer before things spiral out of control. And today I'm in the beautiful bookshop that is Waterstone's Piccadilly and I'm going to tell you about three books which are very special to me. And the first book I'm going to choose is 1984 by George Orwell. Um, it's a book that needs very little introduction. It's the story of Winston, Winston Smith, a minor functionary in the Outer Party, uh, the organisation which controls the superstate of Oceania. It's the story of his love affair with a woman called Julia and his disillusionment and rebellion from the party. It's a book that works on many levels. Uh, it is a love story, a story of rebellion, but it's also a lesson into the evils of propaganda and what happens when power becomes an end in itself. Uh, and my next choice is this. London Fields by Martin Amis. It is set at the turn of the millennium and it features Nicola Six, uh, a woman who is out to orchestrate her own murder. Nicola is a vortex of sex and self-loathing, intent on achieving her own destruction. All that's in doubt is who will the murderer be? Will it be petty criminal and darts fanatic Keith Talent or suave, debonair but ineffectual Guy Clinch? It's narrated by American author Samson Young, who himself is dying of cancer. Indeed, death, be it the narrator, the protagonist, the millennium, or the planet, seems to be a central theme of the book. And my final choice is a book that was actually recommended to me by my then-girlfriend, now wife. Uh, it is this one, Jhumpa Lahiri's The Namesake. Um, it tells the story of Ashok and Ashima Ganguly, to tradition-bound Calcutta-born Indians and their emigration and struggles to build a new life in America. Hot on the heels of their arranged marriage, Ashok and Ashima find themselves in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where Ashok settles into American life far easier than Ashima, who longs for home. Um, they have a child and in tr true Bengali fashion, they name him after a Russian poet called Gogol. Uh, and the book really talks, tells about Gogol's struggle, one with his own identity and two with his funny name. Lahiri brings great empathy to the story of Gogol as he stumbles through the first generation experience, um, the clash of cultures, the, the conflicts of assimilation, and she does it with such a light touch and with beautiful language. Um, as the son of you know, first gener immigrants, generation immigrants to the UK, this book spoke to me in a way that few others ever have.